What is up? Welcome to the first video of a new series that I'm starting. For those of you who didn't catch it, in my most previous video that I posted, which was basically describing what happened to my channel, why it got taken down, and why I had to remove some videos, I am starting a new series where you all, subscribers, send me a video of your swing, preferably one from down the line and one from the front view, and I will fully analyze your golf swings on the channel and tell you what you need to work on, how you can improve, and ways to do that. I think this will be a really cool series. My email will be in the description, so if you guys have any interest in sending a video of your swing to me for me to put up on the channel and analyze, that would be much appreciated. It is your time to shine. Don't be shy either, this will be kind criticism. So even if you don't have the best looking golf swing in the world, I still will analyze it. I give lessons pretty frequently at the country club that I'm an assistant professional at, and I just love helping people out and seeing people get better at golf, so... This is a great opportunity for me to get a little bit more connected with you guys, and you guys can be somewhat famous. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's just get on to it. This is lesson number one. This is Tristan Rabby. He's actually been in a video with me. So first we're going to start with the down the line view, just to get a good idea of what's going on. First of all, setup looks pretty good. Arms are in a good position. Feet are in line with the alignment stick. And his shoulders, it, I can't tell if his shoulders are perfectly square. They may be just slightly open, but it looks like they're pretty square to me. Let's go ahead and get that takeaway going. He takes it way outside of his hands, which nowadays I would rather see a player take the club outside of their hands rather than whip it inside. Taking the club outside your hands on the takeaway will promote you to shallow it out a little easier than if you whipped it inside. So I don't mind this move. However, the club face is extremely closed at this point. If you look at a traditional, based on where his arm is and his wrist, the club face, if it was square, would be about right there at 90 degrees. His club head is about right there. So he does have a very close club face taking it back, which isn't necessarily a huge issue. You just have to do certain things in your golf swing to counteract that. Let's go ahead and take it back a little farther here. He takes it up the plane pretty nicely. He's not super flat or anything. That's about normal right there. A lot, most of the good players are pretty upright with it. We're going to leave that line there so we can compare the angles of his takeaway as opposed to coming down through the ball. If we get up to the top, the club's actually in a pretty good position there. Um, wrist is a little bowed, so that club face is still very, very closed. If you can see that it's almost completely perpendicular to the ground, so it's almost pointing straight up to the sky. This causes you to do one of two things coming down, either just rotate like crazy to keep that face from turning over or just swing out to kind of counteract that close club face. Coming down from the top, he shallows it out nice. So that angle coming down is a little bit shallower than the takeaway. That's exactly what you want. Theoretically, you want to come down at the same angle that you took it up. But if those angles are going to be different, you definitely want the downswing to be shallower than the backswing. You don't want to come steeper down than going back. That'll typically produce a big pull or a big slice. So, it looks like, based on the fact that he's shallowing out so much, um, he's probably going to swing out with it coming through, which would make sense because his club face is closed. So it looks like Tristan's normal ball is a push draw, which I am kind of cheating a little bit because I have seen him play in real life, and I know that he hits a push draw typically. So it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not too much of a guessing game with him. But just so that you guys can kind of see what produces a push draw and... Just how the golf swing works, um, how certain takeaways produce certain things, and how it can affect your ball flight. So if we come on down through the golf shot, it looks like that face is actually pretty square right there with respect to his alignment. However, if we look at the angle where he's coming through the ball, if we kind of follow that club, is going about right there. So the club face is still closed a little bit coming through but it's square relative to where he's aiming because he's swinging out with it just a little bit, which him shallowing it out on the downswing kind of promotes that. One thing I actually noticed on his takeaway was if we draw a line at his head right here, that was bad. Let me try that again. Okay, so if we draw a line at his head, kind of just the front bill of his cap, and we play that forward, on his takeaway, he gets way in front of it. 
So we've seen that the bill of his, or not the bill of his hat, but the front of his head basically has gone forward about three inches or so, which means he's basically falling forward on his toes um, while he takes it back. Because of this, in order to counteract that coming down through the ball, if we kind of keep playing here, he has to kind of fall away. So he gets back onto that line, but because of the fact that he's here at the takeaway, coming through the ball, he actually has to fall away from the ball, um, which will promote you to come from the inside and flip the hands. And it looks like he does come from the inside. Um, he shallows out that club. So I'm assuming he's flipping, based on this view, I'm assuming he's flipping his hands just a little bit. You can kind of see it right there, how that hand's flipped over. Just maybe a little bit too much, more than traditional. And that follow-through, actually, where his hands are up above his head and kind of pointing towards the target, that could be a factor of that. So let's go ahead and switch over to the other view real quick. Okay. Good takeaway, staying pretty stable. I like that position right there. And I actually really like that position. I like the early set position. Um, if you're talking perfect takeaway, traditionally it's going to be about 90 degrees. But if you're just a, he's just a little bit more set than that, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. That'll help him get a little extra leverage coming down, get a little bit more lag, and hopefully produce more distance. If we go ahead and take it to the top here, he makes a good shoulder turn. It's about 90 degrees or so. And it looks like he does make a pretty good transition too. That lower body starts moving. Hands come down. That's a great position right there. He's got good lag. His head's staying pretty on top of the ball, if not a little bit behind it which is good and looks like right there that club face is already square um, with respect to his path so it will close down just a little bit coming through the ball right there it'll be just a little closed if anything with this golf swing I don't mind the closed club face um, at the top it allows you to just turn your body more all in all, I'd say this is a pretty solid golf swing. He takes it back in sync, takes it up the plane pretty well. He shallows out coming down. And he's got a little bit of that bowed wrist at the top with closed club face, which is actually becoming more and more popular today. The only thing that I would say um, that may be causing him troubles is that head moving forward, taking it back. So because of the fact that he's fallen forward right there, it means he's going to fall have to fall away from it, which is going to produce that kind of out to the right path and a little bit of a flip. So based on that, the miss is probably going to be a hook. Um, anytime you're flipping your hands and kind of not getting through the ball as much as you should and flipping with your hands, it's going to produce a hook. A good way to stop from falling forward like this is whenever you're hitting balls on the range, take it back to the top, um, pause for you know four or five seconds, and then transition down. And I think with the fact that he's falling forward on his toes right here, if he stops right there and tries to do the transition, he's going to physically feel himself falling back away from the golf ball. And it'll just be a little bit of an awkward feeling. This should not only help you hit it a little farther, Tristan, but it'll help you hit it straighter too. I'm not really a method teacher when it comes to golf. If I see something that you know somebody does naturally, I'm not going to really try to change that or say, hey, you need to work on that. But as far as just basic fundamentals, there are things that every good player shares with another good player. So yeah, Tristan, you'll probably want to hit some balls um, right after you see this video to kind of start working on this. And if you get instant results, I'd just like to say you're welcome. And if you don't get instant results, if your scores aren't improving right away because of that, it's probably just your short game. So like I said earlier, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are going to like this series. And if any of you want your golf swings analyzed like this, just send me a video of your swing from down the line and front view to my email. Email will be in the description, and I will look forward to that. Thanks for watching.